What's up guys, it's Zach Perna here and welcome back to the second episode of the Transform series. Uh, today I'll be taking you guys through a back workout, a bit of my daily routine because we're having a refeed day today so that's always exciting, uh, as well as an update on the Gymshark 66. Let's do it. So you guys are wondering, why are you at the beach, mate? Um, it's because today's my refeed day, like I said. So uh, we're gonna start the day a little bit differently. I don't like to do uh, my hard cardio on a refeed day, simply because I think it's good for my mind to have a bit of a break. Like if you're doing something every single day, there's kind of like no end to it. And then you're more likely to, when it gets really hard to have those days when you think, uh, you know, when's this gonna end? I can't really do it. So on a refeed day, which is like once weekly for me, my carbs are through the roof. You guys know that. I'll probably hit about 600 grams today. So I'll show you that. That'll be good. Um, and then I'll just rest easy. So I'll just do like 60 minutes of cardio, just like walking outside, um, which would be nice. And it's not taxing on the body. So it's pretty, it's still pretty cruisy, but at least you're getting the steps in uh, and it changes it up too. So then like tomorrow I'll be ready to hit it back to normal, like fat burning mode. Yeah, fat burning mode. Did I just coin that? Um, and cardio is back, back on the hard train. So Otherwise, if I'm doing it every single day, it probably gets a bit much. So guys, a bit of an update on the uh, 66. So far, so good. We're about a week into it. Shut up, mate. Um, we're about a week into the, to the 66, and for me, that means um, my morning routine's got to be on point, which it still is. Getting up, oxy shred, reading, cardio, that's like the daily routine. And then my training's got to be on point, so I'm really trying to push myself as hard as I can in the gym, especially as my calories get lower now. It's when you actually need a kind of... Um, nut up and just smash it so there's that and there's also the um the next i really wanted to film this today but it just didn't work out the my mate that was i was organizing it with um was overseas so essentially uh, i'll be starting kickboxing so i wanted to do that today i wanted to film it today um but it just didn't work out so next episode that should be that should be on there that'll be fun i'm actually i'm actually scared because like my calories are quite low now they're maybe 1900 2000 um, and for my activity level, that's very low. So to add in an extra like hour of hit cardio, however many times a week, it, it's going to be a bit of a battle. But that's why it's a challenge. So I want to challenge myself and also learn something new. So that'll be exciting. I'm really enjoying like the discipline of it all and being accountable. Um, but it is scary. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great start to 2019. For me, it's actually been one of the best. Been one of the best starts of the year. I think just because I've been organized and trying to set goals. So every morning too, I've been setting goals, breaking them down a little bit into um, the main goal smaller goals to get there what's stopping me like in terms of like setbacks and how do you overcome that so that's been um that's been pretty productive for me and now i am excited because cardio is done and it is time to get the refeed day started so i've done a whole video on refeed days explaining why why i'm doing them, the point of it um and today i'm gonna indulge in some in some nice food so i might even have a cheat meal we'll see how we go if i do you guys will see but i'm just i'm very excited to to get this uh to get some cereal in the system. The Milo cereal is back, and it's back with a fucking vengeance. So sentimental, not sentimental, no romantic, not disgusting, yet, darling. I'm so, guys, this is pure heaven right here. We have some raisin toast because I've just been craving it. We used to have it when I was a kid, and it's just heaven. Um, and the old Milo cereal. So, that is like a giant bowl, obviously. I think it's about 130 grams. A couple pieces of toast, and I'll, I'll see how we go from here. I'm gonna, obviously, if I'm hungry today, I'm just going to eat mainly carbs, keeping fats relatively low because I want to get a lot of carbs in. Um, reason being is I feel very flat now because I've been dieting for a while now and six days of my current diet tends to flatten me out, especially with the activity levels. So carving up today, I'm going to really push it, see how I feel tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I feel tighter, I've done a good job and I hit the same numbers next week. If I feel watery, like I've spilled over, it's like I had too many carbs. So we're going to play around with it, see how we go. But this is pure heaven. So that was the pre-workout meal and it went down a treat. I think we hit like 
150 grams of carbs, which is like probably my day, like my daily intake. Hang on, there's a light. Yeah, it's like my daily intake on this cart. So um, feels pretty good. I chucked some extra carbs in here as well. So we've got some PSI, creatine, about 60 grams of carbs too, um, and oxy shred, which, oh, I forgot to put that in. Shit, hang on, I put it in my bag. Rainbow candy. Jeez, why is my head so shiny? It's weird. Um, okay, so meeting with Big Dick Hafey soon. Um, he's getting to the station. I think we're actually on time for once. Usually I leave him hanging. Um, but this is good. This is good. So he's going to film the back workout, um, which you guys will see him. And uh, he's been dieting as well, so happy days. Everyone's getting shredded around here. And another reminder too, guys, for my 12-week challenge going live in about two weeks. So serious talk here. Sunny's off. This, I really want to emphasize, guys, it is the best value that I'm going to provide because it's 12 weeks. If you guys sign up now, you get 20% off. That'll email you the code. Um, and it's 12 weeks, diet, training plan, all personalized, changes monthly, um, Facebook group, email support, the works, guys. And it's going to be $80 if you sign up now as opposed to 100. So I'll give you a 20% discount, um, but that's already taken down as a discount. And the best thing about this too, guys, is if you do want to continue and do like an additional 12 weeks, you'll be charged that same sale price of 80 um, before it goes back or you won't even be able to get it again. So um, I'm offering value for a long time, basically. So link is in the bio. Don't forget to leave your emails there. And when it's live, we can sign up. Shit guys, look at my head. This is what happens, like my face gets all red when I have carbs and salt and I get hot and it's just like, it's a nightmare. Like, I feel hot. That's, it's just what it is. I feel fucking hot <laughs> and uncomfortable, but oh well. I'm used to it by now. Um, let's get to gym, tear some back off the bone, and eat some more food. So guys, plan for today is back day today, and I did do legs yesterday, crushed them. <laughs> um, so they're, they're very sore today. So I can't really do any, don't look at them. Don't look at them, Abby. <laughs> I can't do any like huge movements like a deadlift or anything, because my hamstrings are literally tearing half. Oh yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm bitching it. So what we're gonna do is um, start with pull-ups, superset pull-ups with uh, rope pull-over. So really focus on squeezing the lats, getting a mad pump in the back. Um, and then we're gonna move on to a row and basically alternate between a row and a pull, like every time. So like uh, thickness with width, kind of uh, alternating those. Um, I found that that to be really good. So let's get started. You ready for this? This is magic grip right here. That's noise. So if you guys can't get about eight to 10 reps on the pull-ups, feel free to use the assisted pull-up machine or a lap pull-down. Um, try hit about 10. Um, and a tip with the ropes is when you stretch, I like to shift my hips back so you really feel the stretch in the lats. And then as you come up, kind of straighten your back a little bit. Chest up, squeeze elbows tight. Really feel that squeeze in the lats. You'll be sickeningly uncomfortable. Go for it, fly it. Fly? Fly it. See you, Guys, we want our belt on first because the last thing we want to happen is to fly through the windscreen when you're doing lap pull downs. So, we're doing our underhand grip today. Um, if this hurts your hands, because I mean, not everybody has that mobility, if it hurts your, your wrist, then just feel free to do any kind of like either close grip or a wide grip pull down, whatever's comfortable. Some giant was obviously using this. <laughs> there we go, hobbit height engaged. <laughs> you did a two, you did a step. Fuck up, Abby, I'll knock you out. <laughs> I'm going to carry you. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Is that, is that better? <laughs> so grip is basically shoulder width a little bit wider.
<laughs> no shame here, guys. No shame. <laughs> hey, I think I'm turning into a bird. I'm noticing some feathers on my lap. Get down, bro. Quack mode. <laughs> Every rep just quack. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Don't snap your shit out. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time actually. But really good exercise. Uh, it's kind of like, use these interchangeably with a, like a barbell row. Really good compound movement. Um, just a couple things to remember. When when you pull up, you want to keep your, your back nice and tight. So don't over arch like this. And don't like, sorry. Yeah, and don't go the other way as well. Um, just keep it neutral. So keep your knees nice and, nice and bent. Uh, and make sure you don't snap your shit up so I'm wearing this belt. It's good. Yeah, that's good. One thing you've got to be careful of is you don't want to just jam your nutsack with the bar. I it's thought you meant to. You meant to? No, you're not supposed to. See, there's been stories, been, been uh, tales of guys in the gym who have six scoops of free workout hit the T-bar row and pull so hard they actually disintegrate their nutsack on impact. Okay. Seen third it? Leg. Yeah, and the third leg. <laughs> um, I've never seen it, but uh, the tales are true. So I'm told. Can you help me find a way? Where is the guy that I need? Can I get some help today? Lord, help me with the blood that I bleed. If you beat the shoulder that I need, I want to go. So take me to nothing. Last exercise is a unilateral pull down. I was going to do a close grip, but I've done that every other time. So, um, whether you do these two arms at a time or one arm, it's, it's really up to you. I'll, I'll try one arm today. And we're just going to do a couple sets of this. So, I can a good squeeze, stretching the lats. Where's your post workout man? Post workout meal is at home. So that wraps up today's back workout. Actually felt really good. It's insane how much a difference carbs make with like your energy levels. Like I could have kept going, but hey, has been a, a little bitch and he's like my hands against so I'm holding the camera. So I had to finish Shout up the work. Ass, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, but that is it guys. So we're gonna go home now. I'm gonna have a post workout meal. I've got to get this guy fed as well because he didn't bring anything. So um, I guess we'll see when we get home. Hey, you transition. Something good. And we're back. So I had a quick dip in the pool because it was so hot. I, sh I shouldn't have worn trackies, big mistake there. But the standard post workout meal here, I've missed this. Rice flakes, all of the rice flakes there. And it's like, I think it's what, nearly two o'clock? And I've only had a couple meals. So I'm gonna have to, I've got a lot of making up to do, but this is a second of the, uh, of the refeed meals. Look at that, Aggie, look at that Paul. Oh, she's oh come on, dude. I wasn't even looking, I was looking at here. <laughs> okay, I've got to fix that. Um, do you want to eat something? What do you have? <laughs> you can raid my fridge if you like. This is meal two. I'm having a repeat day today, Happy, in case you didn't pick up. So all the meals today are going to be super, super high carb. So I'm going to smash them. Maybe I have a cheat meal, which I have. Kebab. Kebab. You love kebabs. <laughs> Heaven. So guys, time for meal three. Hafey's just left, so I've whipped up. 250 grams sweet potato, about 250 grams of rice, some chicken breast. So this is all very clean. This is still kind of lowish calories for a refeed because it is all, all carbs, pretty much like protein and carbs and low fat there. But I've been like having just cravings for sweet potato and rice because as soon as, as, soon as the carbs get low, I just start wanting weird shit. But this is, um, this is heaven. So I still haven't decided what I want to eat tonight. Maybe I might get something a little bit filthier. Um, we, we will see though. But for now, I try to get a lot of the meals um, pretty low in fat, so I have a bit of buffer. But, um, phone's ringing. One sec. Yeah, yeah, like, I can't see why not. Like, I do that, but the only thing is that, like, ideally, I really wanted to start as soon as possible. I'm filming the whole thing, and it started this week. Like, I'm, like, seven days into it. 
Okay, perfect. Sounds good. All right, well, I'll see you on Friday then. So, that's, that's sorted, guys. Um, couldn't even get to finish this rice meal. Kickboxing starts on Friday. I'm worried, but I'm excited too. It's just the only issue is if my calories are getting quite low, which they are now, it's going to be very difficult. Um, I'll just be standing there getting beaten up, but um, it's all part of the fun, I guess. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to finish this rice. And just when you guys thought I was done, no. I just finished and we are back. Back with the raisin toast. Because that went down an absolute treat today. It's round two with the raisin toast. How good does that smell, Bear? I think my total carbs now is about 400. So we're running out, but I might hit 600. So didn't really get a cheat meal tonight, guys, but we did get Indian. So I've been feeling like this for ages. All the rices and breads. What are you doing, chicken? Cooking, cooking crisp with potatoes. Are you eating this? Hey? Are you eating this tonight? Yeah. And we've also got a whole stack of chicken, chicken, butter chicken. I don't know what that is. Dad, we've got so much shit. A lot of rice, coconut rice. Good morning, guys. So we are back. Um, day after the refeed day today. So I, woke up, I went to bed last night so full. I didn't include my uh, last meal. Last meal was a... Let's get some light. Hang on. There we go. Uh, last meal was a tub of Halo Top ice cream. So that was like pure heaven. The after dinner, I was like super full. But um, then I sat on the couch, waited, digested, and I was like, you know what? I could... I could eat some ice cream right now, so I had a fresh tub of Halo Top and that was um, that went down a treat. So I think overall, I hit about 600 grams of carbs, at least, like easy, because I didn't really track dinner. Um, so that was that was good, and then woke up this morning feeling pretty tight, just very full, but like, as in like physically, like my stomach was still full, I can't eat anything for another hour. So it's, it's, it's like, what, 10 a.m. now and I haven't eaten anything yet, so this is kind of the update. I've done my cardio today. I hope you guys did enjoy this little video. Um, and that back workout ripped it. Like literally my back is half torn off the bone right now. I think the mix of increased carbs, meaning more intensity, um, like more workload, it just cooked my back. Like it is actually pan fried. Steve cooked in butter and rosemary. That's what it is. But that is it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, hit that button right now. Leave a comment, like the video. Do you have anything else you can do? I don't think so. Share it, give it a share. Upload it to Instagram story. Uh, I think that's about it. You guys have done enough. But otherwise, you guys know what to do. Stay much.